Back in March of this year, myself and my team went on an insanely DIY tour, which we called the Off the Intimate Tour, which was celebrating my new single, Tonic Wine. We went through the footage the other day, and it was really oddly bittersweet, because these were the last couple of days that we all spent to each other, and we were in each other's company since the coronavirus um, cancelled literally all the plans that we had for this year. So I thought I'd share with some of you some of the footage, um, and hopefully you'll have a wee laugh. Call yourself a photographer. So, on the first day of the tour, um, I played a show in Aberdeen, and I played in someone's flat. Uh, during the day, we just went around Aberdeen, and we took photos, and me and my team just, just had a laugh. And looking back on the footage, it's it's really nice, you know, it it's really special. So yeah, and it was a really special show too. I was always wrong. Maybe we can make this easier. Maybe we can turn all around. On the second night of the tour, I played in the 13th Note in Glasgow, which was put on by my good friend Alice. Uh, we were supported on the nights by also my, my good friend's false friends. Um, it was a really special show too. Um, and we started playing songs that are now what I know to be on my record, Everything Will Be Fine. Um, so yeah, this is one of those songs, this is one of these new songs, so I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> on the Off the Intimate Tour in Bonnie Bonnie Toon in Dunfermline in the little shop of Hebo's. So aye, come on, let's go. Hello, present tense, Amy Lou. Um, so yeah, the, the third show of tour was, was in Dunfermline, uh, which was on International Women's Day. And it was one of the first shows I'd played in a long time that I'd played acoustic and solo. And it was a really, really, really special evening. Because Little Shop of Heroes is, is one of one of my favourite places on earth. Um and it's it's run by amazing people out of the Granger family and that evening was just magnificent and I, I, I miss that show a lot. We don't want to call it. We had to come in the orchestra thing. Come in like five point one. Here we go. We've got we've got um nine shots left. I'm so glad. All right, okay, cool, cool. Which one's a hard drive? I think it'd be nice to have one in front of the bookcase. Yeah. No, no. I'm saying which one's a hard drive? Maybe like the other one. Can I? Yeah. 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 Why you said your laptop? <laughs> to do that with her. Yeah. No, that's not. <laughs> I'm gonna absolutely look like an idiot in all these shots. Yeah. Um, what? We are now entering the Scotty T appreciation section of the video, which was highly requested from all of you at home. 
So I hope you enjoy Scotty T's finest moments from the tour. Peace out. Hello, um, not very much. <laughs> As usual. You, you're taking me video like. Right, so when you say it's recording. Or oh, just a file, sorry. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, can I get the other side open? Bear with me. Uh, lethal Wim. Um. They want Scotty T! Thanks for attending the Scotty T section of the video. We can now continue as normal. But yeah, it was a truly magnificent show. Um, and it was, it's so special. Um, and the room was filled with so many amazing people in my audience that I look up to and I care a lot about and it was just so so special and it was one of those shows that I'm, I'm gonna remember for, for a really long time. People like you, people like me aren't so different. What are you told to believe? Ha ha all of us on free antidepressants I believe my world should make sense and here's to the cake and do you know what to say? Do you believe in another Then the final show that we had was just as concerns about coronavirus were, were really coming to halt. And on the day of the Edinburgh show, everything changed. The, the venue changed, how we were putting on the show completely changed. And, and we had to do a completely mad scramble to set everything up. Um, I'm going to play this video, um, which now, knowing what we know now, I, I laugh at our innocence. How do we feel about the coronavirus? <laughs> it's, it's right, guys, this is for the vlog! Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I don't want my gig on Tuesday to get cancelled because of the coronavirus. <laughs> ah! <laughs> 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 Bro! <laughs> Fucking coronavirus one. I can't believe that! Yes, I can't even fucking believe that! Yes, yes, yes. But I suppose we, we made the most of it. It was an awful day, it was raining, we had to carry our kit from one end of Princess Street to the other, which is not fun. I think I got a parking ticket too. Um, but it's going to be one of those shows that I'm going to remember for the rest of my life and it will go down as history as being the last show before everything was cancelled. comes next that bit I'll be honest with you I'm not too sure especially in terms of live music I really hope we'll be able to play shows like these again one day and hopefully we'll all be together soon but until then I wish you all the best <laughs>